I'm Sarah with Lavender Buttons Design, and in this video, I'll show you how you can upcycle all those extra wine corks you're hanging onto into something functional. These trivets work great underneath plants, or you can use them in the kitchen for anything you have that's too hot to go directly onto your counter surface. You could also do a larger version of these and use them like a cork board in your office or your home. The supplies you'll need today are gonna to be some kind of backer. I'm gonna use this 12 by 12 inch cork tile, which I ordered on Amazon, but you can also find them at craft stores. A utility knife, a ruler, wood glue. If you have a different kind of glue that's very sturdy, that would totally work too. And a supply of wine corks. You'll notice my corks are already cut in half. You don't have to cut them in half, but if you did wanna go this route, um, what you'll need to do is actually steam them for about 15 minutes on the stove and then take a serrated knife and cut them down the middle. So there's plenty of tutorials online on how to do that and I'll share a link to the one that I used when I did these. Okay, to get started, the first thing we'll wanna do is to take our backer board and cut it to the size we want for our piece. If you're gonna do a full size trivet like this one, then I recommend cutting it down to be five and a half inches by five and a half inches. If you wanna do a smaller one like this coaster here, then it's roughly 3.75 inches by 3.75 inches for this one. So I'm gonna take my backer and my ruler I'm gonna measure out five and a half inches, do a little tick mark, and then I'm gonna measure it up higher, and doing this allows me to get a really straight line. If you have a T-square, that is a great tool as well. Since we're not using that here in this video today, then I'm gonna do this two-line ruler adjustment here. So I'm using this other scrap piece of cork just as like a cutting board type thing so I don't mess up my desk surface. Um, but you could definitely use a kitchen cutting board if you needed to or a cutting mat. Now that I have my backer cut, just take all my cork pieces and kind of play around with how I want them to line up. Definitely want to try and vary up, you know, the different brands, the different colors, but I want them to all be sort of the same height so that way it flows really well. So I can either do, you know, straight, straight rows like this or I can go with a pattern kind of like this one, which is more of like a checkerboard parquet floor type thing. I actually prefer this one because a lot of the corks end up being different lengths and it's much easier for them to look like they fit together with this texture. So that's what I'm gonna do on this one here. So I'm gonna kind of play around with how I want it to look. And once you're happy with how you have it arranged, you're gonna take your wood glue. I'm 
I'm going to do a light bead all around the backer piece. You don't want it to be too heavy because you want to make sure it's not going to ooze out the sides when you put the corks on. But you also don't want it to be too light because you don't want your corks to not have enough glue to hold them in place. So that looks good to me. Now we just start working on our placements. As you're placing them, you might realize that maybe your board is a little bit too long. Um, if that happens to you, see, I don't really have that issue on this one here, but if that does happen to you, let's say you've got like some extra poking out there, you can either wait for it to dry and then cut off that extra bit, or you can space out your corks just a little bit more so that you have your edges nice and and filled in. It's one of the great things about using this wood glue is that it's pliable for quite some time so you can go back in and wiggle it around. And that's how you make a trivet. Just that easy. And if you wanted to make a coaster, it's the exact same process except instead of doing a three by three grid, you do a two by two grid and it's ready to go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a share. And don't forget to follow me on social media so you know when new videos are released. Thanks.